<sighs> what better way to get into the holiday spirit than getting some Hearts of Iron 4 achievements, said nobody in the history of the universe. But alas, we are back in Hoi for today, and I did feel like doing a bit of an achievement run, so let's get into it. Okay, we've put the achievements off for a while now, but it's time to... <laughs> fortunately get back to it. Okay, so we actually have uh, two achievements. Well, technically three we're going for, though Pandemonium I'll probably just do separately as it probably won't run into, uh, it won't work too well with the run I'm gonna do today. Although I know for a fact Battlecry is gonna be the worst thing imaginable as having to conquer all of Japan is not fun when they decide to declare war on everyone. Uh, thing is, uh, I'm not sure with Battlecry and I can't be bothered looking up if I actually can just go down the power struggle here and just, you know, annex all of China, so I'm just gonna go to all of them anyway because that's the fun stuff to do when you're a warlord. I was almost tempted to put historical focuses off today, but I do not hate myself that much. <laughs> all right, so we're going straight in on all of these border conflicts, because if you don't know as a warlord, you can go ahead and get yourself free land while the Chinese and all the other warlords are at war. I also just upped my whip immediately as high as I uh, could afford, which was 16 whip, and Hopefully if I get some artillery in them, then we'll actually uh, beat all these crappy units that the AI starts off with. Hopefully, I don't actually know. But yeah, that did not go too well. But I think if we get some artillery in there, and the fact that the majority of them were actually still green, uh, they should be fine, I think think, hopefully. We may have failed the first assault, but we're coming back more powerful with 48 soft attacks. So I looked it up and we only need to take every single core state as Japan, which will be fun because now I need to go ahead and make sure the allies don't get any of these stupid islands, which isn't gonna look great. Okay, round two this time we have artillery. Will it work? Oh, well, yeah, it's looking like it will work because <laughs> Yunnan just left because now Japan's declared war on China. Okay, perfect. And we get 100 political power back, which is Excellent, and we are going to use that as soon as we can on China. Now, I do think what I'm actually going to do, I'm not going to use that political power. I've got an idea. We're going to join Japan. Okay, yeah, think about it. If I join Japan, when I go down to proclaim rival government, I get calls on all of China, which means I'll be able to take China for a lot less war score. Even if I don't have a lot of points, I should be able to take more land here. It also means I can sit around a little bit longer and take a few more provinces off of China, just so I can, you know, secure a bit bit more of an industrial backing for Quanzi clique here. Also going to preemptively buy a few convoys because we are going to have to naval invade Japan and now with the use of the market it's going to be way easier for us to buy this stuff than actually um, build it ourselves. Uh, although I think I may go into paratroopers just because it might be a little easier just to land on Taiwan than land here than maybe land there, but I don't think it actually has the range, so we're still gonna have to get naval invasion off somehow, which I don't know how that's happening. Yeah, I don't know if it's still a thing, but if you declare war on something someone's guaranteeing, or if they're a puppet, you can do a naval invasion before, I think, uh, their naval supremacy counts, but they, that may have been patched. This was old man law. <laughs> yes, back in my day. <laughs> but look at that, my two benefactors, Argentina and Portugal. I got the, I got Ronaldo coming running, I got Messi. C2. I can't believe that just happens. I don't even, I don't, look, look at the units. I don't know how they just beat me immediately. I hate Paradox Interactive House of Lime 4 game. <laughs> I think I got reinforced memed out immediately. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, border conflicts suck if you can't tell, but um, I guess we won't be getting much land off China from them. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna have to go straight to war. Yeah, there are a few more really good things in here that usually I would get if I was gonna do a game as the Warlords, but I'm rushing straight down to proclaim rival government now just so that we can uh, get in on this as quickly as we physically can. Oh, finally, we got an event to boost us a little bit. I have not been getting too lucky this game, if you haven't been able to tell. Okay, now we got the Chinese focus tree. We're going to rush on down to democracy over here so that we can get some political power because mine just magically disappeared, just like my units in the battle. Good news is Yunnan, at least, isn't home to stop me invading them. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to try 
one more on the Chinese, and if that fails, I guess we get no land off them. Okay, well, it's not for a very good province, but I guess we, uh, we're getting lucky this time in the sense that I didn't immediately lose it. Yeah, although, unsurprisingly, we are now attacking into a mountain, and we probably will lose it, but it doesn't matter. We are flipping, and we're going to join the war with Japan as soon as we can now. Boys, we could take it through a border conflict, but we no longer care if we're coming in anyway. Okay, so we did take a whole bunch of the front line there, but we're only up to, like, 5% war participation. What that's going to correlate to in a peace deal, not sure, but hopefully enough. Oh. Okay, not bad. Uh, only 129 points, but as you can see, some of these provinces literally cost, like, nothing to take. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything that is cheap as hell. Okay, now, all things considering... This is pretty good. Okay, so Japan's going right in now on the Allies, so we are just gonna leave their faction and get ready to attack them. But I just realized I can also, I can also do this. Hmm. Uh, also, yeah, they, they are gonna justify me, but it does not matter. It's gonna take them 160 days, and I think... Uh, have I generated any world tension? Because I might be able to join the Allies if they're at war with them, because I still have quite a bit of non-aligned. I think I'm gonna be able to take this land completely for free as the... Je yep. Japanese troops don't count, baby! Hey, this could work very heavily in my favor right now because Japan hasn't declared war on the Allies. I don't know if they're immediately going to do it right now, but this could give us the free reign we need to get them before the Allies are going to take them out. Okay, sorry for a bit of a skip here, but unfortunately I messed up the recording there by hitting the button twice and thus I didn't record anything. <laughs> uh, it was just a very long clip of me silently staring and then when I went to hit the record button again, it ended the record button. But all you missed was all I had to do was to capitulate the uh, the Chinese uh, puppet here was march into one of their um, VPs and guess what the entire thing capitulated loads of Japanese people encircled and died then the AI and all of their wisdom declared war on the allies in the Philippines and I joined the allies by the way there was a funny joke about it but I'm not gonna say it now again because it's not funny trust me though you definitely would have laughed it wasn't funny. And now, I'm hoping the Allies will give me some naval supremacy around here, and we can go ahead and get a invasion off in Japan, and turn this whole thing around. I say that, but I'm, I'm kicking myself for missing that encirclement. They've taken a million casualties already. I was kind of hoping the Allies would give me a, a bit of help with this whole naval supremacy thing, but that is not looking like it's gonna happen. Okay, after I just beat them up there, Japan literally has 52 divisions. Really? Come, all you have to do is put one of your fleets here and it's over. Okay, uh, we may have to go with the backup plan if the allies aren't going to play ball here. Okay, hold on. They're going. My uh, destroyers just got absolutely destroyed. But, uh, with this could be it. Well, that's if they, they make it. <laughs> I have no idea what is left in these marines, but if they can get this landing, it is over. They actually got it. They actually got it. Really as well, just as my army was done in Korea, uh, not even gonna <laughs> deal with that. Okay, this is looking good. Uh, we are up to 89, oh, we're around 89 war participation, so we should, I think, be fine. We just gotta make sure I don't forget something by accident that Japan <laughs> the Japanese have a core on. Uh, I mean, I definitely don't put it past, my, past myself, because when I kind of did the reverse thing with that Soviet one and North Sakhalin. So, yep, let's try not to do that again. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can just take all. <laughs> Easy as that. Oh, I guess I can also get away with taking the Navy as well. That went way too, way too good. Uh, so if I just go ahead, I do that. Boom. Battle cry completed. Okay, and the last two we need to do is, as a warlord, have at least a million manpower queued up. And then Pandemonium, which I think we're going to start a new game for, but not before we finish this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, as soon as I did that, I just got kicked out the Allies immediately. I was going to come help you in Germany. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just edit the template we were using and just fill a whole bunch of men in here. And there you go. Make a man out of you. Those are both the achievements we were going for. Although I'm not done with this game yet. We've still got things to do. <laughs> 
potential enemies in Italy. I don't think we're going to be having to uh, worry about them too much. All right, thankfully the UK is graceful, gracefully letting me in, although that says they won't let me in because I've generated world tension, which, <laughs> which means we're probably not going to be in here too long. Yeah, despite the offset of Japan absolutely and decimating, the Germans are making real good work for the Soviets, so uh, I'm going to have to go give them a helping hand. All right, we're planning Operation Chinese D-Day. Never mind, Chinese D-Day has been put on hold. <laughs> Look at my army just... <laughs> I, I ain't even gonna, I'm not even gonna rejoin if you invite me. I'm just gonna stay with the military access and I'm gonna bring my own damn boat over and deal with this. Oh, I say my boat. Uh, I can't exactly tell you where I got the Yamashiro from, but it was definitely a Chinese dockyard. Wing, wing. You know, I am gonna just accept that for a second because uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need <laughs> some planes. <laughs> yeah, it seems the, the, the Germans saw what happened with Japan and they've decided to actually prepare for Chinese D. Day. Okay, that took way too long to get a landing. I had to wait until I got all this cast built up and then had to wait for the UK to re-invite me because every time I went to do the landing, they kicked me out the faction. <laughs> yeah, Chinese D-Day is a go and I'm sure it's gonna fall apart as soon as I'm kicked out the faction again because my air's gonna disappear. Yeah, we're in another game though where the AI has decided that everybody must die. Oh, yep, there you go. Just, just on time. Actually, you know what? I think now is the time we go ahead and try to get our own little naval invasion land over here instead uh, while the Germans are disorganized. See if we can get it without air. That way we won't ever have to worry about the allies kicking us out the faction again. <laughs> A new avenue has approached apparently. <laughs> Friendship ended with allies. New best friend Stalin. Uh, I guess technically I could have fought through the Soviet Union but that is uh, not fun by the way because of the supply. Okay I may or may not have truly roached as much land as I could there without landing. Uh, I had to do it a bit earlier because the Americans landed just as I was about to. And, uh, yep, that's why this is all allied land again. Uh, if you can't tell as well, we also abandoned any semblance of precision in this war. And instead, I'm throwing as many Guanzi cliques strongest warriors at the front lines and hope that we see a green bubble. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was that late in the game, but there goes Bullet. I'm pretty sure the allies have completely inched me out of land there, but look at our <laughs> look at our little roach down here. We ain't done roaching yet. These marines still got a little bit of life left in them. They literally just capitulated as I landed. Look at that. They're still force attacking. And then look, we got the, we got the eastern block. We got the uh, the west as well, and then we have the <laughs> the Chinese demilitarized zone. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think we're going to get too much in this, <laughs> considering our 245 points, and we can't exactly use our cores this time, huh? Yeah, I couldn't really get anything, so instead I focused on taking a few Chinese military bases in Europe. Hello, we got Luxembourg, uh, we got uh, Schleswig, Danzig, <laughs> a bit of Albania, and Dabrugia, you know? <laughs> hey, we, just, we just gotta, you know, everyone's got three ports in me, alright? I want a few in Europe. Yeah, see how you guys will like it when I start selling you crack. Okay, anyway, uh, that is it for this game, which we didn't have to continue, but uh, now it's time to go ahead and finally go get Pandemonium. As far as I'm aware, it does not matter who we play, so we'll start a Sinkang and then just get to all of everyone, I guess. All right, it's pretty simple. I actually could have gotten this achievement in the other room, but uh, I, um, I really needed Yunnan because I didn't get any of China. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna declare war on them. I also have the Soviets in my faction, so I might as well call everyone in. And then I just gotta wait for everyone to join, and the uh, achievement is done. There you go, as Warlord bit war with all Chinese nations simultaneously. Easy peasy. Just out of morbid curiosity, though, I'm gonna keep going until I get the peace deal, just to see how it'll go. <laughs> hey, that took uh, way longer than you'd ever want it to take. But hey, there you go. It does work okay, I guess, if you want to do Xinjiang, except it, it do not ever do it as Xinjiang if you want to go for Battle Cry, I can tell you that much. You do not have the industry, the manpower, or anything to really do it. Always do Guanzi. Hey, but that was all our Warlord achievements. There is nothing left for us to do here as the Warlords, and as you can see from the world, it, um, 
ain't looking too good for our Russian friends. Yeah, sadly for the Allies, they, they do not get themselves another free Chinese D-Day. But hey, if you enjoyed the video and you want to leave a like and subscribe button down below, feel free to do so for more Hoik 4 achievements. And uh, yeah, there was plenty more to do, I can tell you that much. But yeah, anyway, goodbye.